So, let's do our, uh, the fun part of the afternoon. Let's talk Titherington Juniors, and Matt O'Brien is back with us. Matt, how are you, mate? I'm uh, very well, thanks, Lord. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. And obviously this week, not punishing yourself with a Man United trip. Um, what is it that you do on a Saturday then when you're not at Old Trafford? Is it just football, football, football? This morning was, uh, football, football. So my son's team that I coach was, uh, they were playing this morning in the Manchester Super League. Uh, had another fantastic result, but played some good football, most importantly. Um, and then it was being dragged round shops. And then I've just dropped my lad off at a party. So. <laughs> <laughs> a steady, a steady Saturday for you then. Steady, steady. So the days of going to the pub all day have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Now, obviously, um, the club's had its soccer school last week with a great turnout, and this is something the club are looking to build and build and build on, really, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. It's, it's one of my favourite things we do. It's for little ones between the age of three and six, so they're not in grassroots football yet. Uh, it's been done with Steve Hodgson of the, well, everybody knows Coach Steve in Macclesfield, the Football Academy. It's been free. It's on Sandwich Drive, uh, playing field in Titherington, so another nice local pitch being used. Um, there was 26 kids there last week, all just having the time of their lives. One of them being my nephew, albeit he did, does tend to prefer to putting the net on his head rather than trying to put a ball in it, but we'll work on that. He's only three. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously the club's had a, um, a great first, really, for Maxfield this morning, with two under-seven squads playing this morning, and the brand-new Wildcats having a great encounter as well. Yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant, and, and testament to the hard work of all the volunteers and the parents that this morning we've had two under-seven squads, um, one playing away at Sandbach and one playing at home on Rugby Drive, uh, meaning six, we, we've now got six under seven teams within the club, which is just unbelievable to think that you've got to have seven kids per team. Um, it's a, a, an unbelievable achievement by everybody. Uh, we've got two brilliant coaches, who's Ben and Chris, who, who do the two teams. We've got 1987 and Titans. And it's just going from strength to strength with the backing of the parents, the volunteers, coaches, sponsors helping obviously and then the Under 9 Wildcats is a, a personal one of mine because it, it was basically for my niece who um, who had been itching to play football, there wasn't anything around, I was like well I know we can pick that um, so they had a game this morning, they were 4-1 down after a few minutes, pulled it back to 4-all and then lost I think we won the last kick of the games or something but what an amazing morning for them, just brilliant yeah, it's been a brilliant morning. Obviously, the under 12s, 1987, uh, with another emphatic result in the Manchester Super League. Under 10s. Is, is there anything negative about Titherington Juniors? Because I'm just reading everything that sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, the main one is uh, that there's not enough hours in the day to continue growing. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you the most negative thing, lack of pitches. <laughs> well, that's maybe for a, a, when it's raining outside, I'll go into that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And obviously the under five academy then is building strongly, as is the under sixes. Yeah, so our academy is now split off. Um, so we've got under fives who train at five o'clock and under sixes that train at six. And um, last week we've, we've now got 25 under five, so that's four year olds, and we've now got 50, that's five zero, five year olds who are signed up to the under sixes. Meaning, because it's free, so the club totally subsidised the cost of it, um, it, it, there's 75 kids who are getting free weekly football, which is just unheard of again. To think that next season they'll be the under sevens. And we've already got 50 kids in there. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And I think that's what's crazy, Matt, because people don't realise sometimes how important it is that uh, clubs like yourself offer this facility because ultimately there are still, in this day and age, kids and parents who can't afford for the kids to play football and clubs like yourself, and there are others, but Titherington Juniors standing out amongst the crowd giving these kids free football. 75 kids locally who can turn up and play football in a safe environment and actually get a good education and coaching from the club absolutely and it is so important at the moment and because you know 
for me, I'd rather people put food on the table than worry about kids' subs. It's slightly different when they get older and there's matches to pay for because there's, there's quite high costs that the, that the club has to incur, but when they're little, when we're trying to sort of keep costs at a minimum, if we can do anything to help parents, uh, we, we certainly do that. We also offer reduced subs when they come into the under-7s, so that the transition from free football to sort of full-paying football isn't quite as steep as what it is at... Um, uh, you know, for, for, for other places, uh, just to try and help people out. Really, we've 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 all got extra bills to pay. So the more that we can do, and if it means that us volunteers work a bit harder on the fundraising side to try and get these kids in, then that's uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, that's that's how we pay for it effectively. Absolutely. It's fantastic what you're doing. And obviously one of the big things that the club are doing at the moment is trying to sort out housing uh, a container for toilets, kitchen facility and uh, a sit-on mower. These things don't come cheap. Is the mower for yourself, mate? Have you had enough of walking around the pitch with the uh, with the push mower? Do you know, I, I cannot <laughs> wait. I, I honest to God, I've seen somebody on one of them and I was like, do you know what, that'll do me. That, that's me, that <laughs> Saturday morning, Sunday mornings, when I'm not doing football myself, I will happily sit there and go up and down, listening to Silk FM, obviously, on my earpods. And uh, what a brilliant way to spend the morning, to then know that the kid's playing on a pitch that's been cut. Yeah, the, the downside uh, with the sit the on, yeah, the downside with the sit on mower, mate, is when the kids realise it's you sat on it and decide to do some target practice, because you're a sitting duck then. <laughs> <laughs> well, given how much training some of these kids do nowadays, I'll uh, I better get some body armor or something because uh, <laughs> they'll be pick they'll be picking me off quite easy. <laughs> Absolutely, Matt. It's great to speak to you again. Great work from Titherington Junior. So much amazing um, opportunities at the football club. Uh, free football, uh, soccer school, soccer camps, um, teams playing in various leagues across Cheshire and Manchester. And just want to say this to every single volunteer that is involved in Titherington Junior's football club. I do not think you will ever understand how important what you do is, not just to the club, but to the kids involved. 